Hi, this is Kodesh McRoth in the field of the Narrow Dose Ministry. I'm your Bible teacher, Minister Dennis Rogers. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord and Kai. That is God our Father. That is and in the Greek is the word Kai, the word and, A N D. And that's the word chi. That means that is or even grace and peace be unto you from God our Father. That is, when it say and, it says that is or even our Lord Jesus Christ. The two is one. He said the Father and I are one. So if the Father is the Father, he's a Father too. And that's not American, you Jehovah Witness. That's Hebrew. It's not American. According to that white theology that you got from drunken Judge Rutherford. You dumb Jehovah Witness. This is not American theology. It's Middle Eastern theology. The Bible didn't come from no, from no Japheth. No Japheth that. It didn't come from white Anglo-Saxon America, you Jehovah Witnesses. And you apostolic Pentecostal. It didn't come from no black man, George Mason. This doctrine did not come from Charles Parham and William J. Seymour. And it didn't come from no Pope, from no Constantine. And it sure did come from no Anglo-Saxon. Those are all four of the nationalities that preach some form of Christianity. And it didn't come from no black man in America, you, <laughs> you Hebrew Israelite. Those are all the nationalities that try to preach some form of Christianity. It comes from above. Talk back with me, Amen. Amen. From above, man. Yes, yes. Well, let's verify that. Let's go to yeah. the book of John. I've been teaching on one faith. I've been teaching on contending for the faith. John, uh, what was where? Uh, that, that June true. chapter 1, verse number what? 3, three to 4? Three. 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 That we are earnestly to contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Denominationalism is politics. It's not faith. Well, I tell you to go St. John chapter 8. St. John chapter 8. Let's go to St. John chapter 8. See what, see what God the Father, that is our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> they hate that, don't they, y'all? Yes, they do. They hate that. Let's see what he said, where he was from. Let's see what, where he was from. We went through the scripture before on how he was made flesh. Let's go to John chapter 8. Let's go to John chapter 8. Look at John chapter 3. John chapter 3. John chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Look at John chapter 3. Look at John chapter 3. Mm -hmm. John chapter 3. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Verse 31. He that cometh from above is what? I'm at John chapter above 3, all. verse all. 31. Are okay. we there? Amen. Amen. Yes. All right. Amen. He that cometh from above is above, is above, is above all. all. He that cometh from above is above, is above, all. above all. He that is of the earth is, is earthly. earthly. And speak it. It's the same thing that John said in Saint in 1 John chapter 4. Hold your place there, Ark. Let me show you how we do this thing. Hold your place there. Go to 1 John chapter 4, Ark. That, that's the same thing he said over here. Uh, this is how we know that the, our doctrine is not from the earth. Look at 1 John chapter 4. Hold your place there, Ark. Uh. Mm -hmm. Now go to 1 John chapter 4. Are you there, Ark? Uh? Amen. You look at 1 John chapter 4, right? Yes. And we look at 331, right? Yes. It says, He that cometh from above is above all, and he that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Amen. We go to 1 John chapter 4 and verse 5. It says, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. What do they speak of, Art? Earthly. Thank you very much. 
And then we look over here. I'm going to show y'all how to compare scripture, why you need to know your Bible. Mm -hmm. So we go back over to, we go back over to John 3.31, right? Yes. And it say, he that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth, right? Yes. right. Yes. I'm going to teach y'all. This is why you need to read and know your Bible. This is what the preachers don't know. This how blessed you, you men are. Amen. Amen. Forgive me, this how blessed we are Amen. by the Holy Spirit. Look at verse 31. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. Right? Yes. Yes. Go to the book of Philippians. Go to the book of Philippians. I'm going to show these men is not preachers of God. I'm going to prove it to you from Scripture. Now, who said that? John, right? John, yes, said, mm -hmm. John said that, right? Yes. I told you to go to the book of Philippians, right? Yes. Man. Go to Philippians. This is what I told them dumbbells about. What's that fool's name? Hannah and the rest of these preachers. Right? Yes. All right. Now, come on. Go to the book of Philippians chapter 3, right? Amen. 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 Right? Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. It says, brethren, be followers. I'm at 17. Are you there? 317. Amen. Amen. It said, brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as you have us for a what? Sound. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even with weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who, man, what? Earthly things. Thank you very much. Mm. So what do they do, Walt? They speak of the world. And what else do they do, Charles? Speaketh of the earth. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. They speak of the world. They speaketh of the earth. Denominationalism is politics. Mm. Denominationalism is politics. They practice politics. Diplomacy. Diplomacy is the conducting of relations between nations. How about ethnicities? The word nation, the word nation, the word nation, the word nation in the Bible, the word nation, the word nation. I don't want to, well, I can erase some of this. I'm going to leave my other stuff up here when I'm teaching. The word nation, the word nation in the scripture, the word nation, nation is the word ethnos. Oh, ethnos. That's where we get our word ethnicity. That's where we get our word ethnicity from, from the word ethnos. So ethnicities are different races of people, right? Yes. So what is diplomacy? Denominationalism is politics. That's all it is. Diplomacy is the conducting of relations. The conducting of relations. They want everybody to get on. Connections. Mm -hmm. Relate. They want everybody to connect one to another. The conducting of relations between ethnicities. Building up trade. Making treaties. And skill in doing this, skill in dealing with people. So if the denominations is politics and they practice diplomacy, their ministers are diplomats. What is a diplomat? A diplomat is a representative of a government denomination mm -hmm. who conducts relations with the government's denominations of other ethnos, of other ethnicities. The Roman Catholic marched with the Baptists. They marched with the Church yep. of God of Christ. They marched with Apostolic Pentecostal. The reason they doing that, they want to conduct relationships with each other. They want to become one. That's new world order, y'all. Mm -hmm. There's no sanctification in that. They have no sanctification at all. You go to the book of Jude, and let's see, do we supposed to have sanctification? Jude, Jude, 
chapter 1, Jude, Jude, verse 1 and 2. Read, Charles. Mercy unto you and peace. Jude 1 and 2. One, okay, I'm sorry. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified. To them that are sanctified. sanctified set apart, <laughs> not in relation to one another. He's writing to those that are sanctified. By God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. No. Read it again. Okay. You're not paying attention. You missed it. Jude. All y'all missed it. Jude, the servant God. of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father. And Wrong. Oh, excuse me. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Wrong. Go ahead. Yeah. Jude, Go ahead. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Also, brother of James, uh -huh. to them that are sanctified by God the Father, even or also preserved in Jesus that Christ. That is Kai, Kai, mm -hmm. and tell you one more time, y'all don't pay attention. And A N D is the word Kai. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all one more time. It means that is or. Event. Now I just told you again. That right there, y'all y'all forget in those 30 and 40 seconds. It just amazed me. Now let's try it again. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, that is, brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, that is, preserved in Jesus All Christ. All right, let me try it again because he trying to be too technical over there. It says, Jude, read Hawk. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, Kai. Also, also brother of James. That's who we tell you who he is. Also, brother of James. That's right. To them that are sanctified by God the Father, also preserved. You know what? Mm. God the Father. That, that is, is preserved. That is preserved in Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. God the Father is preserved in Jesus Christ, y'all. Hmm. That is God the Father. That is and preserved in Jesus Christ. We are preserved in Jesus Christ through God the Father, y'all. Jesus Christ, God the Father. I just read it, y'all. We are one. What, did you, what is y'all forgetting when y'all read that? The Father, let me read it one more time. Y'all just forget. Let, let, let me read it one more time. Maybe this will help you. Maybe this will help you. I'm going to read it one more time. At John 17, I'm at verse 22. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them that they may be one, Kai, even as we are one. That's exactly what I, I, I just told y'all. That's exactly what's in this verse. That is, as we are one. I in them, you in me that they may be made upright in one. We're one, y'all. They are one. Read it again. John 17, 22. And the glory which you gave is me, I have given them that they may be one even as we are. Right there. We exist as one, he said. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and I just gave it to you again. Now go back over there and read Jude chapter 1, Jude verse 1 and 2. Read, Charles. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, that is, brother of James, mm -hmm. to them that are sanctified by God the Father, even preserved in Jesus Christ, that is called. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Mercy unto you, that is peace. Love be multiplied. Keep reading. Yes. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you, exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Okay, good. I'm going to teach y'all that again because y'all just want to throw it in there when you want to. You're not understanding and reading and using the word Kai in the context of the scripture. So just let's just leave that alone right now. And I'll get back with y'all on that. Amen. Because y'all just putting it in there every time you see the word in and not using it using it properly as it is in the context of the scripture. So, 
A diplomat is a representative of a government who conducts relations with the governments of other nations. They're trying to bring everybody together, mm -hmm. which we are sanctified mm -hmm. by God the Father, preserved in, uh, in Christ Jesus and called. So Jesus Christ wasn't a diplomat because he was separating them from the Jews, from the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He wasn't a diplomat. A diplomat is a person whose career or profession is diplomacy. Diplomacy means conducting relations between nations as building up trade. They're trying to build up trade, build up relationship. The church trying to build up a relationship with the world. That's what they are trying to do. That's the professing church, not the church, not the ecclesia, not the wife. The wife don't want to have no nothing to do with uh, the whore. The wife don't want to build up no relationship with America. That'll make her a lesbian. Amen. Hello? Amen. You best believe you got a woman in a relationship with another woman. America is a woman. Mm -hmm. And you got the wife of Christ in, in relationship with another woman. She a lesbian. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. And that's what they put their approval on, don't they? Yes, they, yes, they do. That's yes, fornication. They do. Yes, they do. The spiritual. But y'all can't see that. Because mm -mm. y'all never seen the sun. So, what they use is tact. A diplomat is a tactful person. Tact means to stroke. Tact means to stroke. You some good children. Our children, they good. All denominations, they believe in God. Don't say nothing evil about them. You got to love one another. Everybody got to get along. We all got to live down here together. Nice doggy. <laughs> nice cat. And the more they stroke you, they do like that cat. You more you stroke that cat, go. You get the stroke of the dog, he turn over, he wants you to go. That's what you guys do. It means to stroke. Tech means to stroke. It means delicate perception of the right thing to say or do without offending. We don't want nobody to feel bad. So we're going to use a bunch of euphemisms. Mm -hmm. What you want to... I'm going to say uh, word, we, uh, words. You, euphemisms. We're going to use a bunch of smooth words. We're going to use euphemisms. Let me define euphemism mm -hmm. for you. No, we're not. We're going to contend for the faith. Amen. We're going to use parhesia. That's what you want. We're going to use parhesia. We're not going to use no euphemisms. We're going to use parhesia. P-A-R-R-H-E-S-I-A. We're going to use great plainness of speech. We're not going to beat around the bush. We're not going to try to say nothing. We're going to define this word of God. We're going to tell you exactly what God said. We're going to give you. Parhesia means all the commandments or all the words. Parhesia means all the commandments. We're going to give you all the commandments of Jesus Christ. He told you to take your cross and die. We're going to give you all the words of the Father. We're going to give you all the words. We're not going to leave nothing out. We're not going to add. We're not going to take away. That's why we defy. Amen. We're not adding. We're not going to stroke you. No, we're not. You don't believe God, you're going to die. You're going to go to, straight to hell. And denominations hate God. Amen. Their preachers are diplomats. A diplomat is a representative of a government who conducts relations with the government of other nations. Do they got a 501c3? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. It's a person whose career or profession is diplomacy. Do they try to build up relations with other denominations? Yes. Yes, they yes do. you do. Yes, do. We're not trying to build no relationship with nobody. Amen. You either come over to our side or you die and go to hell. Amen. I'm, I'm going to say it one more time. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to build up no relationship with no denomination in the United States of America or in the world, period. Not the ecclesia, because it's been what? Same called out. Time, the ecclesia means it's been called out. That's what ecclesia means. It means called out. Mm -hmm. We've been called out from the nations. 
All of us come from denominations. Ecclesia Amen. means called mm -hmm. out. That's what it told us over in the book of Jude, right? Yes, it did. It said we are the what? We are the what over in the book of Jude? It says sanctified by God. It says we are the what in the book of Jude? I didn't ask you to read nothing. What did it say we are? In the book of Jude, man, you're supposed to be over there too. You just read three verses. I'm talking to all six called. of y'all. It say we are the what? Called. We are the called. Mm -hmm. called. What's wrong with you men over there? Y'all can't see? You still don't see it, Ark? No, no, I don't see it. Oh, yes, M.M. verse 1. one. Sorry. Verse yeah. one. What? Mm -hmm. Verse 1. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It say you sanctified, preserved, mm -hmm. and, and called. 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 Amen. Amen. What do you mean you don't see it? That's a woman. Say you sanctified. It say sanctified. What's wrong with y'all, man? I just taught y'all this. Keep telling y'all about reading. I keep telling y'all about reading. I keep telling you men, don't be like the denominations. Read your Bibles. You guys don't read it. I'll go over to what you one time and y'all don't read. Read it. Supposed to know them to labor among you. You don't know if I'm preaching you the truth or not, or you don't read it. It said you are sanctified by God the Father, that is preserved in Christ Jesus and called. Amen. Amen. Three things it says you are sanctified, preserved, and called. That's what it says you are in that verse. Three things. That's predestination and the sovereignty of God right there. That's pro o rizzo. That's limited in advance. That's what that is. That's the sovereignty of God. That's faith. That's one Lord, one faith. Denominations is politics. The preacher is a diplomat. He practiced diplomacy, conducting relations between nations as building up trade, making treaty. They want to fellowship one another, bring all these denominations together, and we're going to find out how we can get peace in the city of Chicago. You ain't getting nothing. That's politics. There'll never be peace in Chicago. There'll never be peace in the United States of America. Jesus said it. God said it. Adonai said it. The Lord said it. Jehovah said it. Yahweh said it. There will never be peace. Never. Y'all going to kill us. And y'all going to think y'all doing God's service. What we preach is from above. What they do is from beneath. Y'all didn't hear what I said. Mm -hmm. What we preach... Is from above. What they do. We don't use tact. Delicate perception of the right thing to say. Or do without offending. No. I'm going to use great plainness of speech. That's what Paul said. What did he, he say there? in the book of Philippians chapter 1. Parhesia, seeing that we have such hope, we use what? Great, Great plainness of speech. Parhesia. I ain't got time to teach on parhesia. I do that probably we come back again. No, that's 2 Corinthians. What? That's 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 2? 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3? Yes, verse 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12? Yes. 2 Corinthians 3, 12. We are the son. 2 Corinthians 3 and 12. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter mm -hmm. 3 and, and 12. Talking about uh, the ministration of death. It says here in verse number 12. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use what? Great, Great plainness of speech. speech. Great plainness of speech. That's the word parhesia. That's the word parhesia. That means we don't beat around the bush. We tell it exactly like it is. Hello? Amen. Amen. Hello? Amen. We don't play no games. Would you oh, have 2 no. Corinthians 3? 2 Corinthians 3. 3, 12, page 
1129. I got that somewhere else in my Bible. There you go right there. Parhesia, that means boldness. It means, mm -hmm. it comes from two words, pos and reo. It means all the commandments. Parhesia means straight to the point. We do not circumvent. We don't go around. We don't go around. This is parhesia. This is parhesia. Thank you. This is parhesia. This is circumventing. Y'all watch the board. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't do this, Hawk. We don't do that. We circumvent it. We didn't go all across. This is what we do, Hawk. We go straight to the point. This, that's the point at the end, Hawk. We go from one point, we don't circle and go around, Ock. We don't circumvent. Ock, we go from one point to the next point. We go from one scripture to the next scripture. We go from one definition to the next definition. We go from John 3, 31 to 1 John chapter 4 to Philippians chapter 3, 17. We don't go and then go around and go over there. No, we do not. We don't circumvent. Amen. We don't deviate. We don't preach the word of God, then go march. We don't preach the word of God, then go picket. We don't preach the word of God, then go boycott. You deviate it. We don't preach the word of God, then start stroking you, telling you this is going to be all right. No, we don't. No. We're not going to preach the word of God then stroke you. We're not going to do that. That's circumvent. We don't do that. We go straight to the point. We do not talk in circles. We don't approach a conversation and then beat around the bush to get to the other side and go your way. We tell it. I like it. You best believe it. Don't play no games with y'all. You either repent or you do. You either repent, we either repent, or perish. Or perish. Jesus said you either repent, or perish. You either turn, or die. Simple as that. Look at all my parhesios right here. I ain't got time to go through all of them. Mark 8, 32, John 7, 4, 13, Colossians 2, 15. Look at Colossians 2, 15. Don't be playing no games. You got no, no time to be playing no games. That's what's wrong with our children. Mm -hmm. Y'all playing games with them children. Amen. Why they Amen. dying? Because yes. of you diplomats in the mm. poor pit. Using tact. Delicate perception of the right thing to say. We don't want to offend the children running away. They're going to go to hell anyway. <laughs> you using tact. You want to use great plainness to speak. They need yeah. to repent or perish. Mm -hmm. Read. 2.15. But I say 315, didn't I? 215. 215, read. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Openly. Mm. Boldly. Mm -hmm. He did not circumvent. No, he did. <laughs> he triumphed over the principalities and powers openly. Parhesia. He gave them great plainness to speak. He told them, Pharisees, you are of your father the devil. And the works. He told them, you are of your father the devil, and the works of the devil you shall do. You mm. shall mm. do it. That's the promise. Ah, yes, he did. He said, you are of your father the devil, and the works of the devil you shall do. Jesus didn't try to go around no bush. He said, now you are, you are your father, the devil, now. You need to repent. You need to come on and come on go over with me so you won't do the works of father, the devil. Come on now. Don't you hear me? He said, you are the work. Now, go to John and read it. Go to John and read it. He ain't playing no games with them Pharisees. It's like I don't. I want to be just like Jesus against you denominations. The Pharisees was your denomination. The Sadducees was your denomination. Herodians was a denomination. I want to be just like Jesus. I don't want to be like nobody on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. I want to be conformed to the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no time to be playing with them, stroking them. Say, okay, y'all, y'all, it's going to be all right. Y'all will get it next time. No, they need to go home and study. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what the scripture said. That's what Jesus told them disciples in chapter 9 when they was 
talking about calling down fire upon the Samaritans. He come to say, they want to call down from the fire. <laughs> he rebuked them. Openly. I don't know how they sit there and take that from him. <laughs> I don't know how either. Well, you don't know how. I don't either. John chapter 8. Mm -hmm. Verse 38. I speak that which I have seen with my father. You do. I told y'all did. Yes. Mm -hmm. We speak that from above. They do the things that are. Did I just tell you that? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I speak that which I have seen in my father. You do that which you have seen of your father. Mm -hmm. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto him, if you were Abraham's children, you would not do the works of, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, you would love me for I proceeded forth and came from God. Didn't I just tell y'all that? Mm -hmm. Didn't I just read that and say Jesus come from God? Yes. That's the word manifest in the flesh. That's God manifest in the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's Jesus. That's what I was teaching you guys. He just confirming it for you. If God were your father, you would love me for I proceeded, prevented, forth, came from God, neither came out of myself, but he did what? Why do you not understand my speech? That is because you cannot hear my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the lust is of your father. You will do. You're going to do it. Yes. Amen. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bold not in the truth because there is what? No, no truth, truth in, in him. him. When he speaketh of what? Lie. He speaketh of his what? Oh. For he is what? A liar. Talk back with him. And the father of, of it. I love that. Back to John 3.31. Do we understand? Mm -hmm. Euphemisms. We ain't stroking, y'all. We ain't going to use no euphemisms. We're not going to use a bunch of smooth words to make you feel good about yourself. No. Euphemism. Greek euphemismos. Euphemizine to use words of good omen of good sound or omen. It comes from the word female and you. It means voice good. The use of a word or phrase that is less expressive or direct but considered less distasteful, less offensive than another. We're not going to substitute the word of God with the wisdom of men. Man. We are not going to substitute the word of God with words of man's wisdom. First Corinthians chapter 2. Amen. Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit is working through you. Yes, it is. You don't have to go there. Yes, it is. That's exactly what it's talking about. You're not going to substitute the word of God with words of man's wisdom to stroke you. We, not, we don't practice diplomacy here. We're not diplomats. Diplomats trying to uh, conduct relationship with other people. We try not trying to do that. Tact and plastic skill in dealing with persons of difficult situations of one who has a quick and delicate sense of what is fitting and thus avoids giving offense. Hmm. The word of God is offensive to the human nature, isn't it? Yes, yes. yes it is. The yes, word is. of God is offensive yes, is. to the human nature. Mm -hmm. It is offensive to human reason. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Yes, it is. You think God didn't know that was going to be offensive when he sent his son? Oh, yeah, he knew. You think God didn't know that? Yes, he knew. Americans think they know everything, don't y'all believe? Yes, yes. They, they know that. Yep, they do. I'm they speaking of that. America, that's why I live in. I know in China, Japan, they do the same, but I'm talking about America. Right. Amen. Amen. America's number one in pride. Oh. Ooh, Americans yeah. think they know yeah. everything. Amen. 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 It's true. America's evil. He that coming from above, John 331. What we got is from above. What we got is from above. What they do is on the earth. 
He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. All right, and let's go back over to John. Let's establish this one more time. We go to 1 John chapter 4. We're going to get the same thing he's saying, huh? 1 John chapter 4, verse number what? 1 John chapter 4, verse number 1. Five, five, read. Five. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not the narrow hodos ministry. Kodesh mikwa hagias numa thelipsis tanas. Megas arene. And what is you at? What? Doxada fields. Y'all don't hear us. Why? Why they don't hear us? Because they are of the world. And we are from where? Above. above. Thank you. If you born again, you from above, you hear everything I preach. That's scripture. Amen. That's scripture. Mm -hmm. If you hear, here's the word akuo, which means to obey. What do they obey, Al? What do they obey, Charles? The world. They obey the, the faith. faith. What is the faith, Doc? What is the, the faith, faith, Charles? The gospel. The gospel. The gospel. You don't have to go to it. Ask you what it was. You should know. I just talked to 15 minutes Amen. ago. Y'all don't hear the faith? Y'all don't hear the gospel? Denominations is politics. Then we go to Philippians. See, we ain't, see how we not circumventing? We're going straight to the point. Then we go straight over to Philippians. Philippians chapter 3, verse number 17. Brethren, be followed together of me and of them which walk so as you have us for an example. The example that we follow is the apostles. Hello? Amen. Amen. Paul is an example. We just read John. Those are the two examples we follow. For many walk of whom I have told you often, and I'll tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their what? Belly. Belly. Whose glory is in their what? Shame. Shame. They mind earthly things, right? Yes. Yes. Let's go to John chapter 5, verse 12. Let's go look, go to James 3, 15, quick. Let's go look at some of these earthly. The word earthly is epigeos. It means worldly. Let's go to James 3, 15. Say James 3.15. Amen. Amen. Read. This wisdom descendeth not from above. What kind of wisdom is that that's not from above? That's the wisdom of the world. Thank you very Amen. much. Read. This wisdom descendeth not from above. Uh-huh. Earthly, sensual, devilish. Thank you very much. It's what? Earthly. Earthly. Sensual, devilish. Thank you very much. Go to John 5.12. John 5.12. We're looking at the word earthly. The word earthly is the word epigeos. E-P-I-G-E-I-O-S. The word earthly is epigeos. The word earthly is epigeos. Epigeos. That's the word earthly. E p i g e i o s. That means worldly, carnal, sensual, devilish. Read five twelve. Amen. Amen. Read. Then asked they him, "What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk?" That's 512? That's 512. Yes. John 512? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see, make sure I got the right scripture. Where I'm at Philippians, Ephesians, Philippians, Galatians. Mm -hmm. Maybe I got the wrong scripture. Hold on. Hold on. I want Philippians, right? Yeah. 312. 312. 312. 312. 312. Read. If I have told you earthly things, uh -huh. and you believe not. Thank you, dude. Go ahead. How shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Thank you very much. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one. You don't even believe the earthly thing. They don't believe earthly things, though. No. Nope. He tell you the truth about the things that are earth. You don't believe that. He tell you something about heaven. How you think you're going to believe that? You don't even believe the earth. Read, Charles. For we know that if our earthly house of this Preach. tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made with hands. Eternal in the heavens. Thank you very much. They from Jesus is from above. What they're gonna do is from from below. Back over to John three thirty one. We're looking at above. Verse thirty one. He that cometh from above is what? Above. above. He that is of the earth is what? Earth. Earth. And what do we do? Speaking Speaking of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is what? Above. above all. Thank you. So if he comes from heaven, he's above all is on the earth, right? Yes. yes. You best believe he is above all. What he have seen and heard, where at? In heaven. 
What above. 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 do you see a heaven at? Do y'all see a heaven in there? I want no. to tell y'all all right there. So you above. just added to the words. You better pay attention. He that coming from heaven, where heaven is there, I'm it sorry, is. I apologize. Okay. He that coming from heaven is above all. My fault, I apologize. Um, look, verse 32, my fault. And he that have seen and heard, and, and what he have seen and heard, where at? In heaven. Where at? Above. Above. Thank you very much. That's what I was looking for. But you said heaven, you are right. And what he have seen and heard, where at? In okay. Where at? Above. Above. That he what? Testifies. And no man received his testimony because the man is what? Earthly. Thank you very much. Amen. You can't receive the testimony unless he calls you to receive what he spoke from above. Because you earthly, right? Yes. yes. Man. He just said that in St. John 3, 12, didn't he? Yes. yes. He that received his testimony have said to his seal that God is what? True. True. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. Where do those words come from? In, in above, heaven, above. above. Thank you very much. For God mm. giveth not the spirit by measure unto him. That's Jesus. We got a measure of the spirit. Each man is getting a measure of faith Measure of the Spirit. Hello? Amen. Amen. The Amen. Father loveth who? The, the Son. son. And what else he did? Given all, all things, things into his hand. hand. He that believe it on the Son have what? Everlasting life. He that believe it not the Son shall not see, see life. life. Wow. But the what? The wrath of God abide on him. him. The wrath of God abided upon these denominations and they don't Amen. even know it. Do don't they? Know. Nope. they don't even know it. Go to John chapter uh, 8. They don't even know it, y'all. No, they don't. They don't pick on these people. They just don't know they ain't, they not from above. They just don't know. Yeah. And it's their preaching in the pulpit. I, he don't know. Hello? Of earth. <laughs> he does believe it. He's on earth, man. That's the, just the, that's just the plain truth. So we want John chapter 8, right? Yes. Amen. Amen. That 8, that's what I want. St. John chapter, I'm at chapter 9. I'm at John, John chapter 8, verse number 1. I mean, verse 23, John chapter 8, verse 23. It says, and he said unto them, ye are from what? Beneath. Beneath. I am from what? Above. Ye are of this world. I am not, not of this world. world. Thank you very much. All right. So we was looking at contending for the faith. And when I left off, we are left off was talking about the one body and the one Lord. Let's go back over there. Let's go back over there to Ephesians. let's go back over to Ephesians chapter four. Let's go back over there to Ephesians chapter four. Because it's one, it's one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God that is Father. One body. Colossians, I meant we're at. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. Read, Charles. There is one body, one spirit, even as you are called, and one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, who is above all, through all, in you all. He is above all? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through all. So and the all. words is from above? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if mm -hmm. you're earthly, you can't understand, can you? No. 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 One body, Colossians 1.18. One body, Colossians one eighteen. When you get there, please. Amen. 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 Read, Charles. And he and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he have the preeminence. <coughs> who is the what? <coughs> Excuse me. He and he is the head of the body. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Who is the what? Who is the beginning? Thank you very much. That's all I ask you. Who is the beginning, Van? Christ. Wrong. Who is oh, the beginning? Who? You lost. Who is the beginning, James Brown? God. Who is the wrong? Who is the beginning of? The Word. What was the Word made? Uh, made flesh. And the Word was what? Christ. Wrong. Flesh. Then the Word was what, Glenn? God. Thank you very oh. much. Y'all oh. go back over to John 1 1. Y'all don't pay attention. Amen. Man, think he's slick. He want to throw in Christ all the time and think he's going to get the right answer. <laughs> like, I know it. I'm not dumb. It don't say Christ over there. Now you get over there and tell me do it say Christ. No, read that. One, one. Tell me do in, it say Christ. No, it doesn't say. Uh, all right, then. We'll read what it says there. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Thank you very much. I ain't saying it. don't say nothing about a Christ no, over there. No, it don't. Amen. You don't say nothing about a Christ over no there. No way in here. You know. So from John 1, 1, 
We go where up? Genesis 2. No, we don't go to no Genesis 2. Where we go, Charles? Genesis 1 1. Gen Genesis 1 1. Read, Charles. Genesis 1 1, son. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Thank you very much. And from there, we go where, Charles? 1 John, the first chapter. We go to 1 John, the first chapter. We go to light. We go to 1 John, John, first chapter, verse 1. There you go, 1 John, first one. 1 John, chapter 1. Read, Charles. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled. Who was that, Charles? That's Jesus the Christ. Where we go from there? We go to John 1.14. Thank you very much. Read, Charles. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. <clears throat> Excuse me. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. I wish they had a witness. From there, we can go to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. We saved by grace through faith. Read, Charles. Go there. Be full of grace and truth. Amen. Read, Charles. 2 8. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves, excuse me, and that not of yourselves, the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. From truth, for truth, we go to John 8 32. Everybody should know this already. John 8 32. Five, he full of grace and truth. Why do we need truth? 8 32. Truth. Read, Charles. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Full of grace and truth. Be saved by grace through faith, that faith not of yourself, the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast, and you shall know the truth, and the truth don't set you nowhere. Makes. What do it do? Make you free. Make you free. Full of grace and truth. All right, let's go to one body. Colossians 1. Let's go back over to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4. Read it again, Charles 24 and 5. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. I love this. We don't circumvent. <clears throat> you go from scripture to scripture. There is, amen, there is one body, one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. One body, Charles, Colossians 1.18. Let's go, church. One body, Charles, Colossians 1.18. Amen. Read. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he have the preeminence. Thank you very much. He's the beginning. He's the word. He's God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. One spirit. First Corinthians 12.13. Let's go, gentlemen. First Corinthians 12.13. Only read the verse I call out. Amen. Read up. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. John 16, 13. We're looking at the one spirit. Amen. Read Charles. Be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come. He will guide you on excuse me, into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. You're not going to practice diplomacy, is he? No. no. You're not going to be a diplomat, is he? No. no. You're not going to use tact, is he? No. no. One hope, Colossians 1.27. All this refers to the two scriptures over in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. One hope, Colossians 1.27. Amen. Amen. Read, Charles. Amen. So whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. One Lord, 1 Corinthians 8.6. One Lord, 1 Corinthians 8.6. One Lord, even Amen. 1 Corinthians 8.6. Read. But to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, and we are in him. And one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom all are all things and we by him. I wish they had a witness. All of this goes according with John 1, 1 and Genesis 1, 1, don't it? Yes. Yes. It said all things and when it said all things, it said all things was made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. Look, read that again. But to us there is but, but to who? But to us. To who? To us. To us. There is but one God. Not to denominations. <laughs> to us. To the ecclesia. Mm. To the church. To us, read Charles. But to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. He missed that, didn't he? I told y'all, that's why I tell you to leave it alone, because y'all don't read it in the context of Scripture. Amen. It says even. He said and. 
That's the word chi in there. That's mm -hmm. why I told you, context of scripture lets you know. So I told y'all to leave it alone because when you get there, you don't <coughs> understand it yet. And it's right there in context of scripture. Say one father, even. That's what it just said. First Corinthians 8, 6. It say A-N-D, that's the word chi, which means that is and. That is or even. And he missed it. That's why I be telling you. It's in the context of scripture and y'all don't even be saying it. So I told you leave it alone. Mark 12, 29. We're looking at one Lord. Mark 12, 29, one Lord. When you get there, say amen, please. Amen. Read. And Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Lord have mercy. Read it again. <laughs> and Jesus answered him, God help. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thank you very, very much. We keep telling them one, but they so goofy. They count like Americans, Mixon. Mm -hmm. That's one. That's two. Ain't that one and two? And they start using what? Our Human reason. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. I mean, I mean, I ain't no fool. I mean, that's a one God. That's a one Lord. Now you ask yourself. Hell no, don't ask yourself. You better ask the spirit. <laughs> Damn, you gonna ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now you ain't dumb, is you? Now that ain't dumb Hebrew Israelite teach. Now come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Especially that dummy that come on Saturday night with that beard. I don't know what his name is. He's, he's, a, he's as stupid as the dead lord. Ten o'clock. Yeah. Now ain't that wrong? Now come on now. Ain't that one? Ain't that two? Ain't that what it says? That's human reason, you jackass, you. <laughs> Compare itself with self, huh? <laughs> That's human reason. Now ain't that one, ain't that two, now count. One, two, three, now ain't that 12 to 12, how many hours right there? Now ain't that, they can't even understand the three days and three nights because they don't know till the Jew apart was a hole in the Middle East. Not in America, you jackass. This is not an American book. It's not an American mindset. It's Middle Eastern thought. That's why your mind got to be renewed. You got to have a man of Christ. Mm -hmm. He didn't have no man of no damn white angle of sex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did he? No. no. He had no, no man of no white angle of sex. No, he did. Jesus did not have a man of a white angle of a japer type. Y'all is stupid. You're going to call yourself a Hebrew in real life. <laughs> Hebrew by the mere definition of the word means Middle East, you jackass. Ain't that dumb as hell? Yes, mm -hmm. Middle Hebrew means a nomadic wonder, mm -hmm. one without a whole. By the mere terminology of Hebrew, that implies Middle East. Israel is a spiritual name that comes from God that he gave to Jacob. Mm -hmm. So Hebrew Israelite is one who's wandering through the earth without a home mm -hmm. from above. Amen. Talk back Amen. with me. Amen. One faith, Galatians 2.20. Hey, God, you ain't no Hebrew Israelite. I'll let you know when to stop. Galatians 2.20, come on. I got a few scriptures. Galatians 2 20. Amen. Amen. Read. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Faith of the Son of God. That's one faith. Who? Philippians 3 9. That's dumb, ain't it? Hebrew, Amen. Israel, Amen. life. I mean, <laughs> definition of the word Hebrew, you can't be American, you dumbbell, you. And Philippians 3 9. <laughs> <laughs> and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, uh -huh. excuse me, mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. The faith of Christ. That's all we want. Look at the one baptism, Matthew 20, 22. One baptism, Matthew 20, 22. And that's Noah Mixon by the mere definition of the word Hebrew. Read. But Jesus answered and said, ye know not what ye ask. Are you able to drink of the cup which I... Excuse me, that I shall drink of. 
and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. Mark 2, 38, that's the one baptism. The baptism of Jesus is the one baptism. There's only one baptism, and that was the death of the cross. That was the baptism, because they didn't dip in water. Amen. The priest, the only one that immersed in the water, that was a ritual taught by the Jewish priest. Read on 1038. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Thank you. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? That's a term for the high priest. I'm going to teach y'all that too. Mm -hmm. I was reading it yesterday, me and Charles. Charles, the reason I couldn't find it, I had the wrong book. I had to buy the book last night. Okay. One God and Father, Mark 1232. One God and Father, Mark 1232. One God, that is Father, even Father. Mark 12, 32. Amen. Amen. Read. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. Thank you very much. John 8, 41. Amen. Read. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. 